guys, it's Monday today and I am just about to go into uni. Um, I have my business lecture as always. When does a rosy uni vlog not start with my most favourite thing? But I've had my reading week and I didn't film that because I was just doing lots of different things. So after my business lecture I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to come back and start my sketchbook for my new project which is pre-collection. So for pre-collection we do four twirled outfits and then we make two outfits and our crypt is after Christmas but I also have my business essay to write during Christmas so I think I'm going to try and do as much as I can before Christmas before that all starts. So yeah apparently it's going to be really cold this week so I've gone for this vintage second hand cashmere jumper <laughs> and then I'm just wearing that with my straight cut jeans I'm gonna pop my trainers on then for jackets I am wearing my pull and bear one because this is probably one of the warmest jackets I've got and then for trainers I am wearing my upgraded Nike Air Force ones <laughs> my old ones are looking really tatty I still got them and I still wear them on like rainy days and things but these were in the junior section in uh, JD Sports and they were like £45 of student discounts so yeah I will link the junior ones if you're a size um, 3 to 6 I think it is in these. Saves you a bit of money. So I've just got back from uni and the gym and now I'm going to make a start on my sketchbook. So I'm going to go through my research folder, well I've actually already gone through my research folder which is here and it's from um, WH Smith. It's kind of annoying there because it pokes out here, it's not really long enough for things. So that's annoying. If you didn't have plastic wallets it would probably be fine. But I've just gone in and put little like post-it notes next to the things that I want to print out to pop in my sketchbook. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I've got a session, a digital session, where we're meant to make our work fit into a competition somehow. But I didn't know that we were meant to have just our existing work into a competition. I thought the whole point of doing a competition was to have more different work and enter a competition. But clearly not. We'll see how that goes. I really have no idea which competition it's going to go in. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to get on with my work and I will catch up with you guys later on when I'm doing something else, maybe. Last night I um, did, this is something I do before I start a new project, um, is because I often find buying like special papers and papers that are going to be the right colour for your project is really hard. So I just make my own and I do little like random paint strokes and I often use just like a roller or like a big brush and just get lots of colour that I can cut into funny shapes and things and um, that is like a tip that I would highly recommend to do if you're just not knowing where to even start with your sketchbook just like put some random mark making down and I also picked up these last year which are like giant circle cutters um, so you can cut out little circles from your paper and I do it for my paint samples and then sometimes you just literally just go in and cut random shapes but this is the size of the large one so yeah there's a little tip for you peak doing your sketchbooks or even if you just want to do like scrapbooking or collaging they're really fun for doing that. I also went to Fabricland yesterday, my favourite place, and um, I got a few samples for this project. Ignore the building work, I can't be asked to wait for it every time. I do need to go to London to do a gallery visit and get some more fabrics but I'll show you the ones I got yesterday. I cut them out in samples and put them on my board. These are all of my fabric selections. These, I won't actually be using all of them and I only bought like 25 centimeters of each, but yeah, these two aren't from Fabricland. This one is from a shop in London. 
and I don't know where that one is. I think it's a London shop as well. So that's not my final selection. I always keep like random bits along here as well on my notice board. I love this. And um, this was from my local shop, but it's just off cuts and they never sell the whole thing, so it's pretty annoying. But yeah. I also bought 20 meters of fabric, which is currently rolled up on this big roll. I rolled it up really badly, so it's like looking really tall. <laughs> and there's like a blue bit of PVC, which is only a meter, but it creases really badly and it's, I don't want it to be creased, so I put it on a roll. It's just such a stress when you run out of fabric to twirl with, um, and it really like holds me back, and I do not need that this year. And then another thing I've done this week is put um, November, December, and January up on my wall so I know exactly when each deadline is and what I really need to get done by that week which is really helping me so far. There is a lot of work to be done each week but it's fine. It'll be fine. You just gotta keep thinking it'll be fine and then it probably won't be but yes it'll be fine. Tuesday morning and I'm about to go into uni but I'm going to show you my outfit it looks like it's going to be absolutely freezing today like four degrees <laughs> so I've got on all the layers so for boots I have on these little Zara boots and um, then I have these I'm not sure if I've shown you these yet but these are my new favorite little trousers they have little kick flares and they're faux leather trousers and they keep me nice and warm and then I have on this H&M mohair jumper which is very warm <laughs> and underneath that I've got a roll neck and a long sleeve and a vest <laughs> and then for coat I am wearing my jacket which lots of people say I look like a sheep in but I'm okay with that <laughs> so here's my sheep jacket also from H&M I think it's really cool at first I didn't like it because it didn't have any ribbing on the sleeves but I actually quite like how it looks without that I think it balances it out quite nicely looks like an interesting length that is my outfit for today I'm back from uni I had an all right digital session we were just doing like um, digital portfolio and now I'm going to play with my silicone samples I did these yesterday and they take ages to dry so I've just left them out in the hallway to dry and they look a little questionable but they're quite cool they're like rubbery and then I tried some mixing with like felting stuff so I'm gonna see what these look like on different fabrics this is just a completely random experiment <laughs> that may or may not look any good. <laughs> I did a load of other felting samples yesterday without the latex. Wednesday and I have a 9am lecture this morning and um, we have like a group tutorial to show all of our thinking for the start of this project as a group with two tutors there's only like five people in the group so it's pretty decent we still get a lot of one-to-one -one in these sessions so that's good but it's raining outside and it's really miserable so I've got on a very great outfit <laughs> I'm wearing this turtleneck jumper which is super snuggly and warm this is from H&M and then for trousers I've got these new ones on from and other stories which are like wool trousers so they should be nice and warm and I've also got the matching jacket for it but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit over this jumper now we can have a look I'll try it on and show you guys anyway so it doesn't really fit over this jumper very well but this is what the jacket looks like 
so cool as a little co-ward. I'll try and link them all below. Um, I think I'm gonna take this off for now and put a big jacket on. I'm back from my group tutorial now and it went reasonably well. I came away feeling a bit like uncertain of what I have to do next which I hate doing, like as in which design <laughs> to choose because they didn't really give me a solid yes on a design. So I'm going to do some more designs right now in my sketchbook and just get an idea of what I'm actually going to design. And then Zach is coming at like two or three so I'll probably spend the rest of the day just with him. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I really want to get a start on this first toile. today I've just got back from uni I had a digital session um, we had like a crit and it went all right but now I need to get started on my pattern cutting but I thought I'd just show you what I wore today I started taking off my shoes <laughs> so I've got my pull and bear jacket on then this roll neck is from H&M fake leather trousers are also from H&M and then my boots Zara. I love this outfit at the moment. I wore it yesterday as well, but I didn't film anything yesterday. So yeah, that was today's outfit. And now I'm going to get in something a bit more comfy because sitting on the floor in leather trousers doesn't sound like the comfiest thing to me. Sunday morning and I am about to go out and have brunch with my friend Becky. <laughs> brunch with Becky. Becky brunch. <laughs> but this is my outfit for today. I got this jacket in the Black Friday sales. It is very warm. <laughs> it's like a little Adidas down jacket but it's actually reversible and the inside has the stripes down the arm. I quite like the puffer side and it's got pockets on both sides, like really big pockets. Um, so that's great. So yeah, love this. Then underneath I just have on a long sleeve top and then my jeans are from Topshop and I'm wearing my Nike Air Force Ones. And I'm too hot already. <laughs> this is also the extent of my Black Friday shopping, which is very naughty but as you can see, pretty much all going back. <laughs> I ordered a coat from All Saints and it was very expensive um, and I was hoping for amazing things from it but it wasn't that amazing and it didn't even have pockets which I was very annoyed at. And then these two are ASOS stuff. So yeah, I'm going to take those back on the way. Um, just get that done. As for my toile, it's still in bits <laughs> but I managed to teach myself how to do piping which looks quite cool but yeah it's all in pieces at the moment <laughs> so this needs finishing tonight hey guys so it's actually monday morning of the next week i didn't film anything last week i don't think not sure but anyway start the new week i was so busy last week sewing and things going wrong and sewing <laughs> So I've got my business lecture today and I'm going to the gym and we've got some people coming to view our flat for next year which is so sad. Ooh. We had some people come around last week and we were just like, we don't want you to live in our flat. <laughs> but this is literally all I'm wearing today. I've just got on my Nike trainers for the gym, my H&M black leggings and, and then this H&M black hoodie which I'm actually really warm in but it's also quite warm outside, so I don't need a jacket today. I'm gonna to show you my like initial twirls quickly just so you don't have to wait until the next video to see them.
Okay, so, so far I have finished outfit one. It's now really crinkled, which is not great. Yeah, it's basically this big oversized shirt dress. Looks like that. Looks a bit better on because these like bunch up and then it has little ties around the cuffs. And then the outfit two, I haven't finished yet, but I've made the coat toile for it. Um, this would be in like big faux fur or I bought loads of offcuts of sheepskin that was going to go to waste. Um, so I'm going to try and do something with those, but I may not make this one in the end because we have to make four. And I'm going to do some sort of long dress underneath that one, I think. But I hate working in calico because I just can't envision. Well, I can envision it, but <laughs> I just hate calico. <laughs> There's a guy out and he's looking into my window so that's going to be it for this video guys i really hope you've enjoyed it i am going to start my next vlog right now um so yeah i look forward to that one and i will see you all in my next video bye